welcome back to the Gibbs Spotlight. I'm Camille Germany, assistant to the directors at the Gibbs College of Architecture. Joining me today is Wenwen Chang. Wenwen is joining the Gibbs College of Architecture this fall as an assistant professor in the Landscape Architecture Division. She holds a Bachelor of Landscape Architecture from Beijing Forestry University, a Master of Landscape Architecture from Peking University, and is a Landscape Architecture PhD candidate at Texas A&M University. Her research focuses on microclimatic landscape design and human health, and we are so excited to welcome her to OU. Hi, Winwin. How are you doing? Hello. Hello, Kamal. I'm good. A little bit busy for preparing for my new position and moving to Norman. Really excited about it. Thank you for having me here today. Yeah, of course. So when did you first become interested in working for the College of Architecture here at OU? And what aspects of OU and the college interested you the most? Um, yeah, um, I started my job searching last winter, and I looked at all the landscape architecture programs in different universities. The job description of Gibbs College of Architecture really caught my eyes m- among all the universities on the list. The job description emphasized both research and teaching and mentioned climate change and evidence-based design, which were just my expertise and interests. Also, the landscape architecture division here was under the College of Architecture, which could bring me many chances to collaborate with people from architecture and urban planning in both research and teaching. So I thought I could make contributions to the Gibbs College of Architecture based on my academic and professional experience. And later on, I got a offer, an offer for the on-site interview. I had a great experience of my on-site interview for this job. I met several faculty members and college leaders of Gibbs College of Architecture. I was so impressed by the supportive work environment among faculty members and the interaction between disciplines within the college. I felt there were great opportunities for me to co- collaborate in both research and design projects. So my research area focusing on urban microclimate could easily contribute to the urban planning and architectural field, such as urban heat island phenomena and energy efficient architecture design. I felt people here understood what I was doing and I was also really excited about their work too. So I met several student representatives. I could feel their strong motivation and enthusiasm in studying landscape architecture here. I remembered a group of students from landscape architecture, urban planning, and architecture were working together for their competition project. There was a supportive and collegial environment, and students were comfortable to share their ideas. I could see good collaborations among them with different perspectives based on their backgrounds. That was really amazing. So overall, I felt the interaction between faculties and students and the working atmosphere here attract me the most. I believe I can contribute to the scholarly partnerships and the interdisciplinary curriculum of the Division of Landscape Architecture. Oh, that's great. We're so excited to see all of your contributions in action here. Thank you. What are some current projects you're working on or you've recently worked on? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, my research expertise is how urban microclimate can be modified by landscape research and design to enhance the quality of life. So I have a few research projects undergoing and uh, just finished this summer. One project was to estimate the individual exposure to UV radiation in the landscape. I developed and validated an approach of using multi-UV radiation sensor to estimate human UV radiation receipts in the different seasons. Another project collaborated with Dr. Robert Brown and Dr. J.O. Spiller from Texas A&M University was to evaluate current heat indices and point out their shortage in reflecting the actual thermal level of young athletes. So two papers relating to this project were just finished. 
um, last month, and they are under review now. Another project I am collaborating with Dr. Robert Brown, Dr. Joan Lee from Texas A&M University, is to discover the heat-related mental health in low-income public housing neighborhood. I'm looking forward to work with people from Gibbs and other department at OU in the future. Also, I consult a landscape design project this summer, um, which is a suburban waterfront park near New Essex River in Camp Wood, Texas. The biggest issue here is illegal dumping, and we're trying to find a strategy of reusing, recycling the trash and garbage through innovative ecological design to protect the local ecological system and to improve local land value at the same time. Oh, that's interesting. Can you explain a little bit what ecological design is? Yeah, sure. Um, we have a few design goals and we would like to achieve through our design. So first is to protect the existing moisture forest. So we created several levels of buffer area based on the local forest conditions. Some forests need to be well prepared and some forests can be open to people. And we also designed a trail to connect to um, several green islands there. And the second one is to protect the river bank and to provide some human natural interactive activities at the same time. And we use part of the water from area as an educational center and designed wetland gardens and other parts as public space for different activities. Through the topographical waterfront design, multifunctional areas are created as open space for people. And our third goal is to deal with the illegal dumping, most of which is the um, construction material. And we propose to reuse and recycle the material into our new design. For example, we'll use the material for our sculpture garden to build our trail and to create some structures for our educational center. So the general idea is to use as much um, local material and vegetation as possible to deal with existing um, problems and to create multifunctional space for people at the same time. So we're going to have a meeting with our client next week, and we hope they will like they will like, like this design strategies. That's really neat. I love that. Thank you. What's a project that you've created or worked on that you're most proud of? Yeah, um, I would like to talk about one of my research projects, which is to develop and validate a children's thermal comfort model. So many children growing up in cities are spending less time outdoor to escape the heat. However, this contributes to the children's obesity and the prospect of a range of diseases in adulthood. As we design outdoor space for children, we can use a human thermal comfort model to test the safety and comfort of the design. But if we did, we would have to use a model that is developed for adults. Yet, there are many differences between the body of a child and the body of an adult. So in this project, I developed the first thermal comfort model that was based on children's body characteristics. This model can be used to estimate and evaluate the site thermal condition by landscape architects before and after their design. The city of College Station invited me to give a guest lecture to their children's summer camp about this topic. I introduced some um, basic thermal knowledge to children and how they could protect themselves in the heat and how our landscape research and design could provide them with a better and safer environment. After that, some of them came to me showing great interest to the study and to landscape design. They told me they never thought landscape architects could do this much and they thought this was cool. So to me, landscape research should have both scientific and social values. I'm happy that my study contributes to the academic area as has a great applicable value for landscape design and serves the community at the same time. That's a really fascinating project. Thanks Thank for sharing you. that. Mm -hmm. So what's your favorite thing about this career path you chose? Oh, it is definitely to become a landscape educator. So teaching landscape architecture is such a alluring job to me. 
I believe my role as a landscape architecture educator is to stimulate students thinking about human nature relationships, and to nurture students' ability to apply evidence to design. Also, I enjoy the time chatting with my students about their new ideas and their career plans. Casual conversations with students can provide me with clues about who they really are, what they're thinking, and what they need in their learning. So, providing guidance and supporting students based on their unique development needs gave me a strong feeling of accomplishment. I feel I can learn from my students at the same time. Their fresh and creative ideas inspire me also.、Mm-hmm. Wow, our students are so lucky that you're joining us this <laughs> Thank fall. Thank you. Nice. So, how do you see your work here at the Christopher C. Gibbs College of Architecture aiding in the growth and development of future landscape architects and designers? Yeah,、um, it is important for landscape architects to prove that their design efficiency and demonstrate their design benefits to their clients. So I emphasize this in my teaching and design projects through evidence-based design. For example, during my、uh, studio teaching at Texas A&M University, I asked students to collect ecological and social demographic data for site analysis and developing their design objectives. I provided students with evidence from research researches that were applicable to their design. I taught students to use landscape performance benefits toolkit. To evaluate the beneficial consequences of their design, so I believe the ability to use evidence-based design can be really helpful for the development of future landscape architects and designers.、Mm-hmm. What do you want alumni and future landscape architects to take away from your work here at OU? Yeah,、um, to me, landscape design involves not only environmental and ecological challenges, but also cultural and social ones. So, landscape design is not only for、um, the physical environment, but also for well-being and social atmosphere. So, I want our alumni and future landscape architects to evaluate their roles as the interpreters and the synthesizers of a place. I want them to understand how personal and cultural motivations ultimately affect landscape design and decisions. So I want them to be responsible for both natural and social environment in their landscape design. Yeah. What do you see yourself doing five or ten years from now to aid in the growth and development of future landscape architects? Yeah, that is a really good question. So、um, I'm also thinking about this. Um, to me, one important long-term direction of landscape architecture development is to build the multidisciplinary connections and to enlarge and infiltrate the influence of landscape architecture to other majors. The role of landscape architects should be amplified.、Um, urban microclimate is a central point that weaves different stream of inquiries such as. Ecological science, urban climate, human health, urban planning, and architectural design. So, in the future, I would like to continue my research focusing on the relationship between urban landscape, urban heat island, and human thermal comfort in multi scales. My research area can create connections among multiple disciplines and create collaborations within and without of our college. Also, I'll use interdisciplinary and multi-scale technologies,、um, for example, remote sensing, heat modeling, field measurements, and energy budget model in my study. By bringing this multi-valent expertise, I can easily build a bridge between、um, ecological science, public health, and landscape design. So, thus, the essential role of landscape architects can be better understood in other majors and fields. So through my efforts, I want more people to know the value of landscape architecture,、um, which is、um, according to Landscape Architecture Foundation, to solve the complex, interrelated environmental, social, and economic problems we face today. Thank you, Wenwen. I'm glad that you could join me today.、Um, thank, thank you, you for yeah, the for important、more. work you're doing. Um, encouraging evidence-based design and creating healthier environments, and welcome to OU. We're so glad you're here.
Thank you for inviting me today. Nice to talk to you. You too. Thank you for listening to the Gibbs Spotlight. Tune in next time to hear more stories from the Gibbs College of Architecture. 